ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 29th of November. Pretty nice day today. After a uh, fairly cool start this morning, a pretty comfortable afternoon, let's take a look at some Skycam shots, and let's back up in time to this morning. Captured a nice sunrise Coming from the Jasper Sky Cam early this morning, about 645. And at that point, we had those mid-level clouds, and that was really nice. And pretty much the same story there in uh, Tuscaloosa. Uh, looking back off to the east, the sun coming up there early this morning. And this afternoon, a look at our Coleman Sky Cam. We're looking over Lake Katoma. Normally, that water would just be uh, all over the place, but there's very little water in that pond. And again, that's the primary uh, drinking water supply source for the city of Cullman and parts of Cullman County as well. Still bad drought conditions here. Uh, water vapor satellite imagery, the uh, cold front is on by. Uh, we are in bright sunshine. A reinforcing surge of cool air slipping in here from the north. We've got the upper level low that is beginning to move on to the east. It's uh, west of Baja, California. Temperatures this afternoon, man, it's cold around zero up on the Canadian border. And I see some minus 25s up there in uh, northern Manitoba. And around here, you can see uh, the progression of the new surge of cool air dropping in. You've got 50 at Nashville, but down to the south, you've got 68 for Montgomery and uh, Troy and places like that. But uh, we'll drop on down in the uh, mid-30s tomorrow morning, probably a freeze for the colder valleys. Uh, rain for the next five days is valid through Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. No change there. Still uh, rainfall amounts of about one-half inch likely here. Maybe a tad heavier for the Tennessee Valley, and most all of that will be coming Sunday night. As you will see as we go through the 12Z run of the GFS, the global forecast system, for those of you new to this, this is computer model output in the primary American global model, and this is valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Friday. And this depicts the weather about 18,000 feet off the ground at the 500 millibar level. Warm ridge over the Gulf of Mexico, very cold vortex over Canada in between the jet stream. And at the uh, surface tomorrow, we'll be in very dry air. After a uh, cold morning, we'll be up in the uh, 60s tomorrow. Just a beautiful day. Saturday, the same deal, but a whopper of a storm forms in eastern Colorado. 992 millibar low. Big snows likely in parts of uh, perhaps the Wasatch Front of Utah up into Wyoming and the Dakotas. Sunday, here comes your trough out across the uh, nation's midsection. And at the surface on Sunday at midday, the surface low is near Milwaukee with the trailing front down to Fayetteville and Tulsa. We might see a shower Sunday afternoon, but there's no doubt the better chance of rain will come Sunday night. That's midnight Sunday night. You can see the band of showers and storms coming on through, and uh, it'll be a quick in, quick out, I'm afraid, and that's the reason we think the amounts will be close to one-half inch. And then Monday at midday, the rain is out of here. Windy's turning colder. Temperatures will likely fall into the 40s during the day. That'll be a big contrast. I think we'll be close to 70 Sunday afternoon, and uh, Monday afternoon will probably be in the middle 40s. Tuesday of next week looks cool and dry. Wednesday of next week, more of the same. How about Thursday of next week? This is a week from the day. Moisture beginning to return. Looks like a snowstorm firing up out there in Denver. And then a week from tomorrow, this is the 7th of uh, December. Nice trough over the southwest United States. And at the surface, we are very moist. So this is suggesting a rain event beginning Friday the 7th. And look at Saturday the 8th, a 1,016 millibar low at Memphis. Very wet-looking system there. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for at least a chance of some beneficial rain around December 7th and December 8th. And, of course, hey, this is voodoo. It's beyond seven days. But the model consistency has been very good on this feature. And then on the 9th, the system begins to lift out, and much colder air moves in. And quickly, a peek at the end of the cycle. Now, this is an interesting flop here. Uh, the GFS has a warm ridge over Florida and a cold trough out west. And this would suggest the coldest air over the western part of the country with moist air in place here, but no consistency out there, and we will worry about that time frame later. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes.